Some people spend the day before Christmas Eve getting last minute gifts under the tree. Others focus on the food they're going to put on the table. CBS News' Jenna DeAngelis spoke to families preparing for the Feast of the Seven Fishes on Arthur Avenue in the Bronx. So are you being out? It's the busiest day of the year at Rendazzo Seafood. The line is out the door with regulars who make visiting Bronx Little Italy a tradition. We come every year on the 23rd for the past 20 some odd years. And Janine Muscolino comes prepared. Tell me, I see you have a list here. What's on the list? Gallops, shrimp, galamad, squid, squingeal, mussels, manila clams, little neck clams, chopped clams, crab meat. And the list goes on. Her family is among the many here preparing. Preparing for the Feast of the Seven Fishes. We fish on Christmas Eve and we eat meat on Christmas. Christmas. And it started in the island places where we're That's from, right. where yeah. there's where fish is plentiful. And it was really a poor man's feast. That's right, back then it back was. Then. You're right. Yeah. yeah, and now it's become yeah. every man's. It's said to be rooted in the Roman Catholic custom of abstinence from meat on Christmas Eve. It's become a tradition for many Italian American families. It's a long tradition. We've been coming here. How long have you been coming here, Dad? Since um, I could probably walk. <laughs> A long time yeah. since he was little, and then he's been bringing the family too. And we all cook together Christmas Eve. It's also a big day for the family that owns the nearly 100 year old fish shop. A lot of people make fried eels on Christmas Eve. With generations here working to serve the community. We've been doing it for a long time, and we just love it. People enjoy coming here. They come from outside the area. This is the best, best day of the year. If you drive down Arthur Avenue the day before Christmas Eve, you're bound to see long lines outside many. Many of the businesses. This is the line outside Madonia Bakery. Who's next? Next? All hands on deck this week, all hands on deck this morning, and we just go, go, go until we're done. What would you say is your top seller? Our olive bread is probably our most popular product. That and the Pana di Casa. Are the DiMartinos are here from Massapequa Park, waiting hours in lines to get all the good stuff. We hit each store. We go to Bugatti's for the raviolis, we go to Madonia for the bread, and then we go, uh, and I go to Pachi's to get my cheese. And stuff. This time of the year, you got to get the best food and the best quality. So that's what it's all about. So even if you got to wait, the wait is it's worth it. Especially for that moment, sitting around the table with family, with full stomachs and hearts, a very happy holiday. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas on Arthur Avenue in the Bronx, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS Two News. Now, if you haven't been able to get what you need for Christmas Eve, many of the Arthur Avenue shops like Randazzo's will be open tomorrow morning. So that's some good news. My mom was actually at Arthur Avenue the other day, so I'm curious to see what she got. Well, we are Arthur Avenue, practically graduates, Fordham and Arthur yeah, Avenue. Yeah. And we were just at Roberto's last week after the Bronx Lights, which I recommend. Mm. Everything there is fantastic. That's I, a nice night. The only thing comment you were making was what it must have smelled like with all the fish there. Right? I know. <laughs> you were like, oh, <laughs> something that she left in her lungs. Anyway. <laughs>